Former County Executive Steve Stinger has pleaded guilty to the federal charges against him, but legal experts tell News 4 the investigation is far from over. Investigative reporter Lauren Traeger breaks down the plea and what it could mean for Stinger and others involved in a pay-to-play scheme. By putting his signature on this 19-page plea agreement, Stanger owned up to everything prosecutors say he did. He looked a judge in the eyes today and told her he was guilty of defrauding the citizens of St. Louis County. Today obviously was not one of those proud moments, but he has completely, an accept, com completely accepted responsibility for his mistakes in judgment, lapses in judgment. Leaving court, Stanger did not answer questions, not even stopping to address a former constituent. Stanger is now guilty of three counts of bribery, confessing to taking campaign donations in exchange for favors, namely in the form of contracts and land deals. In exchange for the plea, prosecutors agreed not to charge Stanger with anything else in the scheme. Legal experts say prosecutors did their job. They need to get to the bottom of the corruption that has been going on. With a three-count plea, they did that. SLU law professor Greg Willard says Stanger now could be cooperating with the feds on their ongoing investigation. Stanger faces around three to four years in prison based on sentencing guidelines. Cooperation, Willard says, could help him. It may be just a downward if in the weeks and months ahead, Mr. Stanger provides additional substantial assistance to the prosecution in other investigations and prosecution. Still, Willard says one thing's for sure. More indictments are coming for someone. There are not other shoes to drop, Lauren. There are other big boots that will drop. So I think this will, this will go on for many, many months. There are other people named in Stanger's indictment and people who are referred to only by their initials. Our sources say that includes one man who is a close associate of Congressman Lacey Clay. Now, Stanger is scheduled to be sentenced on August 9th. He is allowed to be free until then. One possible thing he could be thinking about asking the judge is to be placed at a federal penitentiary nearby. The closest one is about an hour away in Greenville, Illinois. I'm Lauren Traeger, News 4 Investigates.